the limey and the yank are gonna rock your day All the way from England to the USA The great song debate from yesterday and today The limey and the yank are gonna rock your way Spreading the love, spreading the joy With the music we play Hi everybody, I'm Steve the Limey uh, to introduce myself and I just wanted to give you some info on how the Limey and the Yank started off. Uh, my history, I was born and raised in Manchester, always had a love and passion for music and grew up with music particularly rock and roll it's almost been like my savior you know growing up in an industrial uh, working city which is always gray I always listened to music from the age of four all the way up and we wanted to share the music that we love with you and to introduce you to new music because uh, when we got to chatting I noticed that the charts were so different in America uh, before I immigrated I didn't know that uh, compared to the English charts and so many different artists which you never heard and so many different songs and the Yank and I we've always been debating on who has the best talent and uh, we thought it'd be a great way to start our show and it's been wonderfully successful uh, we're getting more and more listeners and we're finding different ways to create more ideas to share with you um, my background, uh, I grew up as a teen um, I danced in cabaret clubs, I was a soul dancer used to think I was the white James Brown but anyway um, I DJ'd and I've always been surrounded by music and when I immigrated to the States and I've been here most of my life now uh, as I say I connected with the Yank and he had the same passion love and desire to spread the word and the happiness of music and to inspire people like yourselves to listen to the old music that you've never heard uh, you know on the English side and also on the American and to develop programs which you would find interesting intriguing informable and to have fun and enjoyment and the main thing about the Yank and myself is we have different opinions on certain types of music but we've always had that battle between who does have the best talent and of course it's England you know we stole your music we turned it around and make it better but I'll let that guy have a chance to discuss how what he wants to say but thank you so much for listening to us and please continue because we've got some fabulous programming coming your way and peace love and joy and play that funky music white boy hey everybody I'm Blake the Yank and I'm the American half of this duo and I got into this because talking to Steve, getting to know him, I realized that we both had this encyclopedic knowledge of music that just kind of overlapped in about the right way. So when we started talking about music and how American music is so much better and England entertains and okay I'm just kidding <laughs> he's looking at me sideways here no but when we started talking about how music is different across the continents and yet the same it was fascinating to look at the charts and realize that these are two very strong influencers in rock and roll and each of them had their own really brilliant ideas and yet they played off of each other wonderfully throughout every decade 50s 60s 70s all the way on up and at the same time we wanted to have fun talking about our favorite music with the idea that we'd introduce other people to either stuff they'd forgotten about and they get to go back through memory lane or stuff they'd never heard of before and they'll say, gosh, I'd like to hear that. So sometimes we go with the mainstream stuff to give everybody a good vibe and then sometimes we go for something more obscure from a mainstream artist for them to go, huh, I never knew that or oh gosh, I'd always wanted to hear that song. As for my background, I was born in Texas, and I've lived in a lot of other places. Before I was 10 years old, I lived in uh, Kansas and Georgia and Kansas and Massachusetts and Connecticut. Yes, Kansas twice. And Kentucky. So that's probably where I spent the most time before moving down to St. Petersburg, Florida, where I met the limey, Steve. And 
Then I recently moved to a place where I could set up my own studio. And as part of that effort, you can see here, we've put together things so that we can keep this podcast going. We can do promo videos and have a good time. And, you know, to be honest with you, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun not just putting this together and working with this guy and cracking jokes, but also being able to have so many other people just show up out of the blue from around the world and say, we love the show, or this is really neat, or thanks for reminding me, or, or our favorite really is, can you talk about this artist? Can you play this song? We love getting feedback from our listeners. But that's the gist of it, and I really hope that if you haven't tried the Limey and the Yank podcast, you stop by our website or wherever you get podcasts and give it a listen. See what you like. Thanks a lot. All right, don't get too close. <laughs> so a lot of the fun with the show has been our back and forth and our chemistry. And to be honest with you, I think part of it is because we really just enjoy goofing around when we're talking because we have a good time. It's just we fun. We do, and we want to share that good time with you. And we want to share all that wonderful music with you and information that you've never heard of. And like we said before, music that they've never heard of. Yeah, especially that great American music that's so much better than that weird English stuff that he has to drag from out of nowhere. You know, he's bigger than me, <laughs> so I have to sit on a cushion so you don't think I'm a little... You're not supposed to tell them that. <laughs> well, a little English type, but I am 5'10", but he's bigger. But he's got a bigger voice too you know you know what i'm Americans five ten and like. a half they always sound lively they're always bigger but what you're gonna do but we thank you so much we wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you folks yeah you know that's that's part of the fun is sometimes we'll get somebody who comes out of the woodwork and they're like oh my gosh i remember that song because you know that was played at my prom or they'll say gosh i love that artist my mom loved them too you know what? I got a perfect example for you. When we did an early episode and we played Build Me Up Buttercup by The Foundations, you told me that was one of your mother's favorite songs. And I was just standing in line at the drugstore the other day. I hear it coming over the speaker and I'm just like, now I got this really good vibe because I'm thinking about how that was one of your favorites and it made you happy. And I'm like, that's pretty cool. Now that song for me is connected to that great memory of yours. But that's what music does for people. It's going to give me a... I get emotional, you know, when you think of music, but that's what it does to you. I feel like bringing a tear to my eye. I can see my mum dancing in the kitchen to it. And that's what we want to do for you is to send that love and joy and bring back those memories. And like I say, some of the memories you never heard because you never heard of the music. But well, if it, if it makes you feel any better, none of my family ever danced around to hang down your head Tom Dooley. <laughs> <laughs> so that never happened. <laughs> and we didn't groove out to the Battle of New Orleans. So. <laughs> it's a great song, though, the British Cosmic right. Common. <laughs> but like we said, if it wasn't for you guys and it wasn't for the audience and all you listeners out there, we wouldn't be doing because it's all about your feedback and what you want us to play and please keep on sending those ideas and that information and great songs that we can share it to other people especially those american it. ones send us the american ideas first see i always a b c in. american always britain jumping in oh. when, I'm, when i'm <laughs> when i'm talking Keep on listening, folks, and we're going to keep on giving you the great programs, and we're going to bring different programs every time, just to keep you going, moving, and shaking. And so, just when you think we're stuck in the 50s, we're going to throw some Megadeth at you. Well, I that will. Sounds, that sounds very painful. So thank you all so very much, because we love what we do, and we appreciate you so much. Words can't express our joy and happiness that you've gave us for making us such a huge success. So from the line, we thank you so much. And keep on listening and keep on trucking. All right. You and can from the say Yank, something. a really nice thank you that won't be quite as long as that one. Okay. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. We love hearing from you. We love your input. And we think it's great that you listen to the show. It's why we do it. We want to share the music and we want to hear from you about your favorites. All right. They've heard enough <laughs> for you. Ta-ta for now. Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye, y'all. The Limey and the Yank are gonna rock your day All the way from England to the USA The great song debate from yesterday and today The Limey and the Yank are gonna...